What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Crypto Kindness channel. My name is Jeff. Today's video, I'm going to share with you how to fix a stuck or pending transaction in MetaMask without hitting the cancel button. This is a somewhat advanced technique, so please follow along step by step so that way you don't make any mistakes. It's also important to know that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is simply coaching, showing you how to take care of a problem for less expensive than just canceling the transaction in straight away. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so here we are. Earlier today, I tried to mint one of these Zen FTs, and I got a little bit crazy with my gas settings. And now I have a pending transaction that just won't go through. It says pending here. And I go up to cancel, and it's telling me that I don't even have enough gas in my wallet to cancel that. So we don't want to cancel it this way anyway, because that's way too expensive. First thing you're going to do, step one, Go up to the orange dot or blue dot, whatever dot you have in uh, MetaMask here and click on that and come down to settings. Once you're in settings, click on advanced. Once that box opens up, slowly scroll down until you find the customized transaction knots and check that to on. Perfect. Now that you've done that, click on the three dots next to your wallet information and click View Account in Explorer. This is gonna take us to Etherscan. And we're gonna scroll down and right here, the very first transaction we see, it says Pending. And I'm gonna click on the transaction hash there. And I'm gonna come down to the bottom where it says More Details. And I'm gonna click on Show More Details. The important thing that we need to see here is the nonce. Nonce is number 16. And what nonce is, is basically the blockchain executes transactions in the order which they are received. So nonce is the 16th transaction that I tried to do out of this wallet. Now, if I was to do multiple transactions after this one, 17, 18, 19, none of them would execute until 16 executes. So that's why it's a problem when you have a pending transaction for a long time, because your wallet is basically frozen until this transaction executes. So there's something called a nonce replacement technique. And basically, we're just going to drop this transaction by replacing it with another one with the same nonce. So what we do is we go up into MetaMask, and we're going to click uh, Assets. And you just want to send ETH to yourself. So I'm clicking ETH, and I'm going to hit Send. I'm going to transfer it to myself. So I'm using my YouTube demo wallet. And you, it doesn't really matter where you transfer it. You can send it anywhere. But the point is you're going to send zero ETH. You're not going to send anything. We're going to hit next. Here's where you need to pay very close attention, please. So you can see here that I have one pending transaction. Okay, here's where you're going to need to pay attention. So right here where it says gas and it gives you your estimated price, $4.16. Above that, you'll see a little MetaMask fox with market. You're going to want to click on market. And then come down to advanced, click on advanced. I'm going to pick a max base fee that is at least two times the current fee. So currently gas is 78 GUE. I don't want any risk that this is going to fail. So I'm actually going to choose 200 GUE. Again, it's important to do at least double the current fee. So this video, it's 78. If you're watching and it's 150, you need to double that. Priority fee, this is the magic right here. Priority fee is the tip that you're giving the validators. So just like anything in real life, the bigger tip you leave, the better service you're going to get. So don't go cheap here. These priority fees are right now 0.1. You want to make this a whole number and a nice juicy whole number. So I'm going to go with six. So instead of 0.1, I'm giving this guy a much, much bigger tip, 60 times more tip. And then last but not least, down here under gas limit, I'm going to hit edit, and I'm going to bump this up from 21,000 to 23,000. And now let's go through that again. So I increase my max base fee to at least double of the current GUE. Go higher if you want. It's not going to charge you that amount. It's just making sure you have enough wiggle room after you do this transaction. The priority fee, again, is the tip to the validator. So I went really big on that. I gave them a six. It, depending on your level of desperation, you might want to do a 10. It's up to you. That will add a little bit of cost to the transaction. 
And then I added a little bit to the gas limit. I took it up to 23,000 from 21,000. So now that those settings are in place, I'm going to hit save. The next step is we need to replace that nonce. So remember our stuck transaction, we can see here down at the lower bottom is 16. So in custom knots, I'm going to type in 16. And what we're going to do now is hit confirm. And what you'll see here is when this transaction goes through, it will say dropped and replaced. Perfect. And that transaction has gone through, dropped and replaced. Basically, we replaced our current transaction with another one with the same nonce of 16. So let's go back to our wallet details. And what we will see here that now that this stuck transaction, the pending transaction is gone. So that's all there is to it. And the, the cool thing is we can click on that most recent transaction and we can come down here and see that it only cost us $3.44 to replace that transaction, get rid of the pending, get rid of the stuck transaction. And even that's at a relatively high gas price of 88 GUI. So very, very straightforward to do this as long as you follow the instructions step-by-step. Step. So that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. More importantly, I hope this video helps you in the event that you have a stuck or pending transaction and you're really frustrated. If you wanna know more about this or if you're not comfortable doing this yourself, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. Go ahead and look in the video description below to learn more about that. Thanks for being here. Be safe out there and have fun.